Hi everyone, long time no see. I just wanted to give you a quick update on everything. As some of you may know, I recently had some crazy bad luck with my computers. First my desktop died, and then a couple months later my laptop died as well. Luckily, I was able to get my desktop fixed so everything's back up and running. Don't fret though, I keep all my files backed up on an external hard drive, so no progress was lost. Now that that's out of the way, I'll tell you a bit about where I am in the project. As of now, the maps are completely laid out. I was working on implementing puzzles and boundaries, and I realized that the hospital didn't feel completed as it was, so I reworked the layout and design. From the textures and the details to the sounds and the puzzles, I basically remade where I had once simply remastered. My main goal was to give the hospital a more claustrophobic feel, a la Resident Evil 3's hospital segment. What you're seeing in the background is footage of the original hospital, and here is footage of the rework of the lobby. You see I just basically poured a bunch of more detail and I chopped up the walls and the segments so I could get some more textures in there, and also added in some uh, struts and supports along the walls. And here we are in the stairwell slash hall, upper hallway. That's the new section that was added in, which I did keep, but I have reworked this entire area very, very extensively. I also combined these two rooms into this same segment, so those are all intertwined now, and you'll see the, that there's a whole new puzzle section upstairs that really changes the layout. There's the new section down there, and we'll head up the stairs here. And I sectioned it all off so that it's completely closed. Like I said, I'm trying to make it feel more claustrophobic. And there's the rooms connected. As you see, you can't simply walk over there now. So, everything is now completed up to the prison, as far as puzzles and boundaries go. Some of the puzzles, enemies, and item placements will remain faithful to the original, while others will have a reworked area uh, to keep things fresh for returning players. And I plan on doing that throughout the rest of the mod. Um, I also created an actual mod and adjusted the settings, like removing the flashlight and most of the HUD elements, and changing the player's movement speeds. And speaking of movement speeds, Another addition was changing the sprint behavior so that while sprinting, the player would lower his gun and be unable to shoot, forcing you to slow down while aiming. Uh, to end with, I'll give you a little teaser of the lab here. I don't want to show too much because I want it to be a surprise for you guys. Thanks for tuning in.